going all back out with RB test ride number three today and this is a Lexmoto ZSB we are doing a lot of these ZSBs and as I said it's probably one of the best bikes that Lexmoto do it's also the cheapest £1869 for one of these so 1869 and 99 so basically 1870 quid minus a penny and then of course on the road fees prep pdi ride testing etc etc which is with us 199 pound total price of the bike 2069 for two grand you've got a bike good god cheap as chips and the engine in these are bulletproof absolutely bulletproof rock solid engine on these it's your bare basic sit up and ride bike seat very comfortable mirrors nice and wide analog and digital dash look there we go 35 mile an hour five speed box on it soft as hell suspension it is comfortable as hell beautiful little bike this one and we've done a lot of these they come in two colors so they come in the navy blue or this one which is the gray we are out on the navy blue hopefully later today once I get back out of the workshop I have got a lot of work on and as you can imagine with any bike garage and it's not just me it's all my friends that have got bike garages as well in the Milton Keynes area we are all fully booked for at least two to four weeks and if you phone up a bike garage and go can I get my bike in oh we can't do anything for two weeks mate you know they are a good garage well yeah we can get you in today you know they're not that good then or they're not that busy Braking on this is so, look how good that suspension is on that bike, this is so soft and firm. Absolutely love these. So rough counter at the top, gear indicators off to the right, down the bottom you've got your fuel tank, your mileage or odometer, and then your speed. How quick does this get up to 40 mile an hour? Very quickly. Now, one of our... Uh, Rosper guys as we call him that comes out on the Rosper rides with us Jim has had one of these for I think about two years now and he's still riding it he potters around on it he's it back RB 45 mile an hour maximum there we go he's had one of these for two years he loves his bike it's a great bit of kit. The only thing he has changed is obviously the headlight. He said, well, it's all right. It's good. I can see where I'm going. He has put a Denali, big LED light in the front of his, and good God, it lights the road up. But he goes out and rides on his 125 with the big uh, BMWs, me on my GTR, and we go out and do Rusper rides, and he can get 60 to 65 out of his because he's run it in properly. But he said, it goes everywhere, 60, 65, not a problem country roads and that I can get 50 55 and that is ample for a country lane it's not going to corner like a big bike does with massive tires but he said never had a problem with it and he's had his two years services religiously and it's got hardly any rust on it because he covers the thing in ACF 50 I keep banging on about pushing ACF 50 all over your bike on your panels just avoid your obviously your brakes and your tires but stick ACF 50 everywhere. It will keep your bike clean, it will make your panels nice and shiny, and it will make it look like a new bike. But these things are built like bricks. You cannot destroy a ZSB. And I've yet to see a ZSB that has died on me. They are a great bit of kit, very, very easy to maintain. Spark plugs all on the side, oil filters very easy to get to, thimble filter underneath. And for maintenance and servicing, it's probably one of the easiest bikes that you're going to get. You're not having to rip off shed loads of panels to get to stuff. Batteries on the side cover, right hand side, pop it off, batteries under there, very easy to get to as well. And that is about it. It is just bare bones basic bike. And for 2,069 quid, we are selling a lot of these bikes. We have got, I think, four going out currently. And we've got more on order just cannot get ZSBs quick enough with a five speed box geared bike it does the job it also has a rack at the back you can slam a top box on the back of one of these 32 litre 42 litre what more do you need 
So it's got everything you need as a starter bike for a 125. Now obviously we are, I think, 10 days to prep one of these. And we do get a lot of people calling and go, no, oh, I wanted it sooner, can I get it next day? Not really. When you consider, it's got to come out the crate, it's got to be built, that's a day's job. Well, normally about two hours to pop one of these together. Then you've got to bolt check it. Yes, it's been done in the factory, but we do another bolt check, PDI inspection, pre-delivery inspection, ride test, second bolt check, another ride test, second QC, and then final ride, register the bike, tax it for you. We do absolutely all of that. And that is the reason why, out of the 140 bikes that we have done last year, none have come back. And obviously, oh yeah, but my local dealer did it in three days, yes. He's not gonna crack the mileage on the bike that we've put on it. We put 10 miles at least on every bike. All right, let's come in on that back brake and just show you pulling it down square. There we go. Combine braking on these and just click through the box back down into first gear. There we go. Visual display tells you what gear you're in. When you hit neutral, it comes up. You get a little green N in the window down there somewhere. Now, the only thing I did pick up on with these ZSBs is that that display is not very bright in the sunlight. It is at night, but it's just as easy just to look down and see if you've got your indicator on. It's the only thing I picked up on. Could do with a brighter LED in it, but if you're looking down, you can actually see it. Right, OK. Right, we're going to do a front brake test this time. Clutch in, kick down through the box and pull in on the front brake and... Whoa, there we go, look at that. You can tell it's got new pads, they're like, mm -mm. Yes, the new pads work great. Good view of the road behind, there we go, have a look in the mirror there, see? So, you've got perfect view, both sides in the mirrors. And we're off, back down the other side of the dual carriageway. Crack up a bit more mileage. Once again, in on the front brake. You should always use your front brake when braking. There goes Mr. Poe Lifespan. Obviously late for breakfast. Dual carriage where we go, quick shoulder check. There we go, nice warm road, fresh rubber. Handles lovely. But guess up the uh, it's 45 mile an hour very quickly. Obviously, once you've had your first service, you can open it up to 55. Servicing regimes on these, and I'll keep banging on about servicing warranty. 40 to 45 mile an hour and for the first 500 miles must be maintained don't go ragging it to death 40 to 45 mile an hour first 500 miles three months get a service on it once you've had your service you can then open it up to 50 maximum of 55 that will take you 3,000 miles or the next six months so you've got to run these engines in and you can tell very very quickly if someone hasn't because when you go and drop the oil out you've got a magnetic sump bolt in there it will attract all the swarf off the engine there there should be a little bit on there and um, nine times out of ten if there's shed loads of swarf on it you have been ragging the bike so we can tell and obviously we will put that on your service notes a lot of swarf found on sump bolt bar 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 you come back in seven, eight months time and your engine's gone bang. They'll look on the service notes and go, well, oh, yeah, but you had a lot of swarf in your sump belt. You were told to obviously run the bike in. 
you can void your warranty if you do not follow the servicing and the ride instructions and I must bang on about that because the amount of people that will uh, 17, 18 year olds is like nah let's just open the bike up see what it will do 10 miles in on a brand new bike you are going to pop the engine and everyone said oh you don't need to run in a 125 they're done in the factory if it was running in the factory they wouldn't have time to get all the bikes out yes they do start them up in the factory but they're brand new up motors so they are not test bed run in and your first lot of oil is obviously you're running in oil to help the engine slip a bit and other thing is obviously if you are servicing go for the best of the best oil don't go buying the cheap rubbish that you'd get from the uh, orange and black local cycle shop that begins with H don't go down there and buy your motor oil get some decent stuff even on the 125 decent oil will always make a difference reason being three things you never scrimp on your bike one is tires two is brake pads three is your engine oil it's your lifeblood of your bike you go put in that rubbish oil in that the engine's not going to last five minutes so Motol, JMT any of the good brands Mobile One I wouldn't suggest Mobile One because it's darn expensive but Motol or JMT JMT do some very good motor oil and JMT oils are the stuff that they use on the MotoGP and JMT oil is very cheap at the moment get it for about £10 a litre you're only going to literally spend about a tenner you've got a litre of oil in one of these removable thimble filter so quite easy to do your own servicing but obviously to keep it in warranty you have to go to an approved motorcycle garage if they're not Lex Moto dealer you basically take a photocopy of the invoice send it to the person you bought the bike from so send it to your dealer say I've had my service done not a Lex Moto dealer but another garage I need this putting on the system they will put your bike service on the Lex Moto system and the other thing is obviously people go oh yes but uh, when I got my bike I literally got just the registration document no you shouldn't be getting that you should be getting your printed Lexmoto handover sheet which is about 10 sheets of paper with all the details and how to look after the bike you should have a handbook just basic bare bones handbook saying this is where the indicators are this is where the throttle is yeah it's a very simplified Chinese manual written in English but it doesn't tell you much about the bike but it is good reading and you should also get your registration document from DBLA so just a photocopy or a print of saying the bike has been taxed and registered which is what we know as a RAV form a register of vehicle form just says that the bike's been registered taxed your V5 once we register the bike your V5 turns up in the post probably about 10 days later or well, known DBLA probably about three weeks later but once that's done it's all sent to you and done <coughs> so very very easy to do and on the hill climb these little ZSBs do all right so that was pegged at 45 we're down to 42 so we dropped about three mile an hour If you want to see all the technical spec on any of the Lexmodo bikes, lexmodo.co.uk, go in the bikes, and if you click show more, it will give you all the technical spec of the bike, tyre sizes, weight, height of the seat, wheelbase, noddy nod. It will tell you everything about the bike. So up the hill we go, we are seven miles in on the test ride, and down the other side, back for coffee, and then I'm going to get my bike in and do customer's bike that needs a new front tyre and his headstock tightening. Just a quick job for me, straight on the paddock stand, get the wheel out, job done. And keep an eye on wagons that are behind me, he's going left I believe to Woburn. about 500 yards from my house I love climbing up this hill I do it every day down to the RB house around the corner we go and back down the other side and uh, I 
Hello Mrs B, goodbye Mrs B. I'm not coming home for dinner yet. The little ZSB running absolutely lovely. So, reason we do videos so the customer can see his bike ridden correctly, you would not believe how many I'm not saying every bike dealer will do it, but uh, some bike dealers, and we have seen his video. Brand new bike, two miles in, and he's pegging it at 60 mile an hour. No, 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 no. You as a dealer should not be doing that. So hence, 40 to 45, ease back RB, 46, naughty, naughty, better, 44. I am very religious about no more than 45 on a bike. I don't mind not mile an hour here or there. But you've got to run a bike in. A bit of care and attention. Treat every bike as if it was your own. That is my motto. And of course, back to the garage, final bolt check. Coat of ACF 50 on the bike. And then out. Get the tyre on, out on the next ones this afternoon. I've got an LXS still to go. Another ZSB, the blue one. And then we are looking at, next week, the new SR125 from Lex Moto. We've got one of those coming through. And a UM Freedom. Yes, I am taking out a UM. And we shall get on and do some AJS videos as well this week. And I am going to prove a very big moto vlogger wrong. That's coming up in the next one. We're not going to mention it on this video. But I'll give you a hint. A certain big moto vlogger with massive, massive following, about five times more than what I've got, took out an AJS 71 Scrambler. Yes, he did. And... Uh, if you happen to be on my live streams, you'll know the blogger that I'm on about because we talk about him all the time. The guy is a bit of a numpty, talks out of his backside. Um, very missing at the times. <laughs> yeah, he's missing a lot on this test ride. And uh, AJS Scrambler. What is the top speed of the AJS Scrambler 71? Well, he's climbing a hill in fifth gear and the bike's doing 50. Of course it is. It's only going to do 50 climbing a hill. He's like, oh, with the top speed on, this isn't very much, it only does 50. Yes, you numpty, you are climbing a hill in fifth gear, and it's not going to go like that on the flat. AJS Scrambler does 65 mile an hour. And obviously someone's gone and watched his video and said, oh, I don't want to buy the Scrambler now, it only does 55 mile an hour. If you own an AJS Scrambler 71, drop me a message, and I'd love to see you doing a video flat out that I can put on my channel, because obviously we've got a new one in, I'm not allowed to do 60 on it. But, if you happen to have an AJS Scrambler, let's know what your top speed is, please. I will mention that in the next video that we do when we take the AJS out, but, oh, it does 50. It's climbing a hill, it only does 50. Yes, it does. ZSB only does about 55 climbing a hill bike is going to run totally different on the flat than it will climbing a hill. Pothole. Look at that manhole cover. Nice soft suspension. Love it. Nine miles in, so by the time we get back to the garage it's going to be ten miles in. Test ride complete. Another perfect Lex Moto bike, ZSB. If you're interested in one of these, Clips Motorcycles 01908 643 603. You will get to speak to my lovely sales manager, who is Rebecca, or Bex, who's been selling a lot of bikes. So hence why I am not on the sales counter anymore, guys. I am now out on the spanners full-time in the workshop. Servicing tyres, brakes, MOTs, etc, etc. That is me now, so no longer in the sales office. So it's all gone over to my front of house manager and my lead sales girl, which is Rebecca. You still get me on the phone occasionally, but Bex takes care of that for me now. Bless her. And she does a very, very good job. He 
you didn't want to go that way then. <laughs> right, because the road is blocked, shortcut for RB, not suitable for diversion. Yes it is, if you happen to be on a bike. Just ease up buddy, thank you. Watching that front wheel. All the way down the first, jump through the gearbox, lovely. Let the traffic clear and we are back for a cup of coffee. No, look away, look away. <laughs> oh dear, summer's brought, oh god, summer's brought out everything hasn't it, Jesus Christ. Alright, test ride complete, RB's back at the garage more test rides to come we'll see you on the live stream friday till then be well ride safe from rb it's a big goodbye from me